I'm going to be showing you how to do all these side missions in Tatooine's Drenlin Waste within LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga's Galaxy Free Play. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're starting off with Beats of Rage as the first side mission. Now, the Drenlin Waste has a ton of side missions, I think maybe more than any area in the game. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be on the right side of the map. Talk to Max Rebo, of all characters, and he will activate the side mission for you. And you will have to escort him safely to the landing pad so every now and then you will get stopped and you'll have to take out some enemies but it shouldn't be too bad as long as max rebo's health does not reach zero you'll be good to go and once you reach our landing pad you'll have to talk to him again and he'll ask you to go to naboo space so travel to naboo space but wait you'll gonna get stopped a couple times so the first time you'll have to take out six enemies here in space so take them all out and then i think once you do that you're gonna get stopped at least one more time uh, which is always the most annoying thing in these side missions, but uh, after you get stopped twice, you'll eventually reach Naboo space, uh, talk to the NPC character there, and then he'll actually have six more enemies go and attack you, so uh, we're going to take them out next, and once you take out all six of them, the gold icon should appear on your map, go up to the character, talk to him one more time, and that will end the side mission for Beats of Rage. So that one's not uh, too bad, but just a little bit annoying there with the whole stopping you in outer space. So next up we're going to do 99 problems. This is going to be on the right side of the map here. Talk to this droid. I believe this droid is from Jabba's Palace in episode 6, if I'm not mistaken, but he will activate the side mission for you. So you're going to have to gather clues around uh, the adrenaline waste here. So the first one's going to be with this Jawa, and you will have to switch to someone that can understand Jawa language, like a protocol droid. And uh, once you do that, he will escort you over here, or he'll give you a clue that leads you over here near Luke's homestead. And right next to Luke's homestead, there'll be an astromech droid you can talk to. Talk to him, he will lead you over here to another character that's going to give you yet another clue. So yes, this is a wild goose chase side mission for sure. Talk to this Jawa, and he will lead you uh, away from there. So we're going to move on, and I believe he's going to lead you over here to the side of this cliff where there's going to be a uh, cave that you need to get into so let's go over here you climb up this mountain talk behind the door and there is the 88 droid that we're looking for and you're gonna have to basically get inside there now how do you get inside there well there's gonna be a protocol panel right there that it's revealed to us at first I was confused how you actually get up there but you can actually double jump and reach that high ledge so yeah it's just really high up uh, but activate the protocol droid that will get you control of an astromech droid hack the astromech panel and uh, once you get inside, there is going to be 88, and you're going to have to take him out after you talk to him a couple times. I would just shoot him with a blaster, and from there you should be able to escort him out of the cave into the open. And once you do that, you should be able to uh, yeah, capture him with your handy droid that you always use in these side missions. And from there, you can then talk to the original droid you talked to, and that will complete the side mission for 99 problems. So a lot of different steps to that one. Next up, we're going to do Salicious Be Crummy at Jokes. So this is going to be uh, kind of in the same journal area near Jabba's Palace, actually right in front of Jabba's Palace. Uh, so talk to Salicious Crummy, or Be Crumb. <laughs> um, and uh, so we're going to then travel over here to Mos Eisley. And once you get to Mos Eisley, there's going to be five different characters you need to talk to, which are going to tell you jokes. And uh, that's kind of the main goal of this side mission. So that was one. And it gives you the general area of each of the five jokes that you need to talk to, or at least the general area of the people that you need to talk to. Uh, but here you can see in this video exactly where they are within each location. Uh, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. I think that one was number four, I believe. And number five is going to be right over here. Let's talk to him. And once you talk to all five characters, uh, Salicious Crumb should then... Uh, talk to you and that should complete the side mission for Salicious B Crummy at Jokes. Alright, so next up we're going to do Biggs Trouble, spelt with two B's for the Biggs Darklighter character. And this is going to be right next to where you land on the landing pad. Talk to this character right here. He's going to have some supplies that you need to escort. And uh, so then you're going to have to get into your vehicle and travel to Yavin 4 Space. Now, of course, this couldn't be too simple because you will get stopped in the middle of space. I think you get stopped uh, at least two or three times on this one. I think it's three times. Every time you get stopped, you will have to take out a handful of TIE Fighters, which is always fun. And once you clear each zone, uh, it'll then teleport you to the next area. Now, once you finally reach Yavin 4 space, you'll then have to take out 12 more TIE Fighters. 
Once you take them all out, you should then be able to talk to Biggs, and uh, he will then end the side mission, giving you the mission complete for Biggs Trouble. So uh, very similar to the first one we did in this video. Next up, we're going to do Imperial uh, Probe Droid. We'll unlock the Imperial Probe Droid. The mission's called Probes and Cons. It's going to be on the bottom left side of the map, and the next several side missions are basically going to be the same thing, where we have to go take down a droid, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. So the first one's going to be the Imperial Probe Droid. Talk to the Jawa to activate the side mission. You'll then have to get a clue right there, and he'll lead you over here near the landing pad, and that's going to be where the Imperial Probe Droid is, and there it is. So you'll get a little... Uh, boss fight entrance there, take him out, that'll be pretty simple, and then you can capture it and bring it back to the mission giver, and then you can go back and talk to him, and make sure you're playing as a protocol droid or somebody that can understand Jawa, and you will complete the mission for probes and cons. So next up, we're going to do rodent retrieval, so this is going to be very similar to the last one, we're going to go uh, to the same general area and talk to a different Jawa, and he's going to want a different type of droid, I think this one is for the mouse droid, so that's going to activate the side mission. We'll then have to go to the Mustafar system, to the mining complex area. That's going to lead you in to this area where Obi-Wan and Anakin fought each other, and there's going to be a mouse droid now. I don't know if my game was bugged or what, but this one was definitely the hardest droid of all these side missions to take out. So just take some time, shoot it up with a bounty hunter or somebody like that. And eventually his health will get to like a quarter left, and then he'll start to go outside here. And that's so that you can actually capture him with your uh, droid that comes from above. So once it gives you the prompt, go ahead and capture him, and it'll take him away. It should then teleport you right back to the Junlin Waste. And from there, you will complete the side mission for Rodent Retrieval. So next up in the series of droid Jawa side quests, we're going to be doing that droid is the Pits. And so we're going to talk to this character once again in the same general area. That's going to activate the side mission for that droid is the Pits. I believe this one's going to require you to go just over to Mos Espa, which isn't too far away. And it's going to be one of these pit droids. And this one's really simple. You can see I took it out in just a few shots. You can then capture it, and it should then teleport you right back to the Drenlin Waste, where you can then complete the side mission for that droid is the pits. So next up, it's another similar one. We're going to be doing Protocol Recall. So we're going to go, once again, to the same area of the Drenlin Waste. There's going to be another character that you can talk to. And this one's going to require you to go to another planet once again. And this time we're going to be going over to Dakar with a sequel trilogy planet here. More specifically the Resistance base area. We're going to talk to a character. Actually there's going to be a few characters that the game's going to lead you to that will give you hints as to the whereabouts of this protocol droid. And we're going to be running around here. Here's the next character we need to talk to. He's going to lead you over here. And once again they just kind of throw in a little wild goose chase for you just to lengthen the side missions a little bit and there it is R3PO he's who you need to take out now he will split in half at one point so you will have to take out uh, one half of him as he's charging towards you but once you do that it shouldn't be too hard and you can capture him and then it should teleport you back over to the adrenaline waste and that will complete the side mission for protocol recall so next up we're going to be doing for OOM or OOM the bell tolls so this is once again a, another one of these droid destruction side quest. So we're going to talk to this Jawa right here. That's going to activate the side mission for Oom um, the Bell Tals. And then we're going to go over to Geonosius and more specifically the Stahl Gassen Hive. And the whole area is going to be kind of a search zone. So just go to where I go here in this video. We're going to climb the top of this mountain, talk to this clone trooper. He's going to lead you over here uh, to this area where the water is located. And then there's going to be a classic droid that you're going to have to take out. I think it's a commander droid. So this one is a little bit tricky. Uh, he's going to throw some smoke and stuff, but uh, you should be able to shoot him down without too much trouble. And you can capture him, and that should end the side mission, and it teleports you back to the Junlin Waste and complete the side mission for Oom um, the Bell Tolls. So next up, we're going to do Don't Be Afraid of the Dark Eye. So we're going to talk to yet another Jawa. Yes, this is a long series of side missions of capturing different droids. Um, so yeah, don't be afraid of the dark side, or dark eye, I should say. So this time we're going to go to Kashyyyk, and once we land in Kashyyyk, there's going to be this Wookiee we can talk to, and he's going to lead us over here to this Sith probe droid. And this one is a little bit tricky to shoot down because it's so small, and it's got, uh, it's got a decent amount of health, and it moves around a lot. But once you take down all of its health, you can capture it, and you'll be teleported right back to the Junlin Waste. We can then talk to the Jawa and complete the side mission for Don't Be Afraid of the Dark Eye. 
So next for the second to last of these droid side missions, we're going to be doing Droids Have Magnitude. So this is going to be kind of near the homestead, Luke's homestead. We're going to talk to this Drawa, and this will activate the side mission for Droids Have Magnitude. And you will have to go over here to Utapa or Utapa, however you say it. Once you get to Pa City, it will then go over here to where the game tells us to go. We're going to talk to this NPC character. He's going to tell you exactly where General Grievous' bodyguard is, the Magna Guard. And we're going to take him out. Now, I did find that this one does, like, have, like, invincibility if you shoot him too much. So make sure you pause before you start shooting him again, and you'll be able to hurt him again. It's kind of a weird thing about this game. And once we capture him, you'll take him back, and that will complete the side mission for Droids Have Magnitude. So now for the grand finale of all these droid side missions, we're going to be doing the Battle Droid Royale. And this is going to be located on the bottom left side of the map. We're going to talk to this Jawa right here. And this one's going to give you a Kyber Brick 2 for completing it. So we're going to activate the side mission by talking to him, and there's going to be uh, two different locations you need to go to around the Adrenaline Waste. Now each of these locations uh, will have three of the battle droids that you just fought. So we're going to go over here, and we're going to talk to this NPC character. He's going to give you kind of the general vicinity of where to go. We're going to climb up this mountain right here. I thought I could grapple up, but uh, apparently you can't right there, at least not with a bounty hunter character for whatever reason. Once you reach this area, there it's going to say Bad Bots, you're going to have to take out the Imperial Probe Droid, the Protocol Droid, and the Pit Droid all together. So a couple of them you'll be able to take out pretty quickly. The uh, Protocol Droids seem to have the most health, at least for me. So capture all three of those, you'll then have to go to the other side of the map, over on the right side near Jabba's Palace. We're going to talk to a few more NPC characters, they're going to narrow down the exact location of where the last three droids are. And these are going to be called the Droids to Avoid. This is going to be the Magna Guard, the Commander, Battle Droid, and of course the Mouse Droid. Now I found the Mouse Droid to be much easier to take out here compared to what he was on Mustafar for whatever reason. But once we do that, we're going to capture all three of them. And that should complete the side mission for Battle Droid Real. Talk to the character, and there we go, we have completed it. But we are not done yet, we have two more side missions. First one is Going Going Gonk. So this one's going to be located near Obi-Wan Kenobi's house, just to the left of it. We're going to talk to this gonk droid, make sure you're playing as a character that can actually understand gonk droids, like a protocol droid or something like that. Now will activate the side mission, you'll have to escort the gonk droid safely to his destination, and he will stop right at the beginning for whatever reason. And there's going to be some enemies, like Tusken Raiders, I think, that uh, start attacking you along the way, which is uh, kind of annoying. Uh, but eventually you will reach his destination, which is actually going to be just near the landing zone on the cliffs behind the landing zone. So once you reach there, talk to him, and that should end the side mission for Going Going Gonk. And finally, for the final side mission of the Junlin Waste, it's going to be called Sarlacc Snack. This is going to be on the top side of the map. We're going to talk to this Jawa to activate the side mission. And we're going to have to find five different pieces of food for the Sarlacc Pit. Now, these are going to be located around the Adrenaline Waste, so luckily you do not have to travel to other planets, which is always nice when it comes to these side missions. So the first set, there's going to be some Imperial Troopers guarding the food, so we're going to take all of them out. And inside these white containers is going to be the first piece of food that we need to get. Next one's going to be over here in these caves. We're going to destroy the white Imperial uh, Lego piece there to get the second piece of food. And through the caves on the outside here, just to the right of where we were doing all those uh, Jawa side quests, it's going to be the third piece of food. Then out here near Luke's homestead, it's going to be the fourth piece of food. The final one's going to be guarded here near the landing zone by some more Imperial troopers. So we're going to take them out. And I think there's like three clone troopers and maybe like an officer or somebody like that. Or a pilot, I guess it was. Destroy that and you will get all five pieces for the Sarlacc. Talk to the Jawa. He will then feed the Sarlacc pit. And from there, you should be able to talk to the Jawa one more time, and that will complete the side quest for Sarlacc Snack, and then you should be done with everything in the Drenlet Waste. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I know there's a lot of side missions in this one. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time here on Quick Break Games.